gathered with Derek, and we're playing Burger Time Party. So I guess maybe if you want to just get in between us so that you can get the screen, as much as I really like to be on camera, this is really exciting. I, I played a lot of Burger Time at arcades. I passed by earlier and embarrassed myself with how bad I played, which means it at least honors the traditional difficulty of Burger Time. Uh, Derek was explaining the storyline to me. Let's take a look at what's going on on screen. Well, as you all know, Chef Peter Pepper is classic retro gaming's number one chef uh, when it comes to hamburgers. But as he's racking his brain trying to come up with a new item to put on his menu, uh, needless to say, he goes through a lot of prototypes and a few recipes have to go in the trash. Uh, they take offense to that and rise up as the food foes, the nefarious edible enemies who seek to... Um, take revenge for being left out of this new uh, burger menu item. Uh, of course, <laughs> he's still got work to do, so Peter Pepper is going to try and run around a comically oversized kitchen as he puts together gigantic burgers by stomping on the ingredients. That makes sense. Do I push as uh, you the do. button to continue? Yeah, go now? for it. Great. Uh, now, I have played the regular burger time, burger time quite a bit. Was there this story in that, or is this a, an imagined story that you guys came Well, given to? that it was on, you know, the, the arcade in, I want to say, 1984, for a lot of that Probably was kind right. of uh, between the lines, and I did consult the old school instruction manuals to kind of really dig into that deep lore, so. Uh, would be the best uh, chance to check this out, play solo? Uh, yeah, that's one way to go. We could play, uh, you know what, I've been I've been enjoying starting off with Main Burger, and we could uh, even play together. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, well, so. then you're not going to have a microphone unless you can that's play true. I could I could try. I'll give okay. it a whirl. All right, let's I might not need it. Or, or he could hold the mic for you. That's, uh, that that's would be so sweet. All right. Yeah, that's finest. that's what this game is all about, and that's what, what I wanted to showcase is teamwork. Great. So I'd say just uh, scroll up to Welcome Burger, and uh, since you've got player one controller, you've got control, and let's get going. So you've got shared lives that up to four players in the uh, final version are going to be able to play locally together. Um, are going to walk Across platforms, climb ladders. And what is the attack button? Oh, there it is. Pretty much any button on your uh, on your switch. So the gameplay seems almost identical to what I remember the arcade being. Absolutely. In fact, there is a classic mode that allows you to replay the exact stages from the uh, really? original game. Yeah. It's actually a lot harder than uh, a lot of the challenges in, in this uh, new game. Uh, well, whatever I walked up to earlier, I died like four times in a row embarrassingly, and I was just like, I gotta come back later and play this when I've got some... That's right, it eases you in, um, but we've kind of unlocked the full game here for people to try out based on their uh, experience level, but as you can see, it quickly ramps up both in complexity and in danger as more um, food foes emerge from the trash can. Does the difficulty scale with the extra players that you bring in? That's so if you have really four players, question. does it become more difficult? You know, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I'll have to check on that, actually. I mean, that's, don't feel bad. I've been trying all day to stump somebody. I feel really good now. Uh, but that makes, I don't know, sometimes that's a, it's, a, it's not a bad thing, but... I, I do believe it is essentially the same map, but it does add a lot of other elements. As you saw, friendly fire, you know, you, you sprayed pepper in my face, uh, stunning me. Um, and I fell down, which you can actually revive me if you get to me in time and hit the R button to pull me back up. I, but, I did that to you? Uh, it, it's one of the options you have if your teammate falls in the heat of battle. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Is, it, is that like the hardcore mode? Uh, that's just part of that's multiplayer part of mode, multiplayer. yeah. So if I get to you and hit R1, then I... If I were to get, if I were to, uh, get hit by an enemy and uh, be, be damaged, there will be a period where you could 
rescue me. So there is that safeguard to playing with multiple uh, players, but that also could cause you to change your route and bring you further into danger. Now, so I'm probably going to regret this, but can we jump to a higher difficulty? I think we I could, mean, yeah. I mean, I was ashamed of myself so earlier. So just hit home. But nothing really brings somebody, you know, up in the world like shame. I don't know. That might be the wrong way to describe yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, I... Now I'm ashamed of the fact that I pushed the wrong button. Start. No worries. You know, shame is a crucial part of the burger making process, yeah. as everyone knows. See, I would just uh, flip on over. Yeah, with the. What do you think? Is this going to be a, a pretty big difficulty gap? Yeah, let's let's go to let's go to hot griddles. Let's see how. Let's spice things up a little. All right. I'm gonna, I can already tell. We've jumped like three pages. Uh, I'm sure that you learn on the way some mechanics that help with that. Yeah, it's uh, as you can see a trial by fire. Um, Quite it, literally. Yeah, if you uh, are on those surfaces when they fully heat up, you will get burned. But the same applies to your enemies. And you were able to. Oh. Well, well, I'll get you. Oh, there no, you no, go. No. This is the kind of difficulty I was expecting. Not impossible, but enough to scare you. And you're getting some anxiety, oh boy. There you go. I gotcha. And what is that that gave you that that ultimate power there? Uh, that's one of the power-ups you can collect along the way. You've got chicken nuggets that'll stun enemies. You've got, um, yeah, you've got a variety of different items, such as french fries that'll drop the ingredients on the screen down a level, saving you some crucial time. Uh, you've got uh, chili peppers that'll make you run around spitting fire out of your mouth that will eliminate nice. your foes. So. so when can we expect to be able to get this into our hands in the public on the Nintendo Switch? In the year 2019. In the year 2019? Yeah, yeah wow. this very year. Uh, that's really exciting. That There's not a lot of time left. Are you? Uh, w there's not an exact date yet? Not yet. Nope, nope. Uh, the localization process is a uh, is a tricky one, but as you can see, we've pretty much got the complete game in front of us right now, yeah, so uh, it's, it's a we're lot looking of forward to releasing it. I really appreciate your time. Thank you, Derek. Thank you very much. Thank you.